Hey YouTube! Welcome to Pilot Season. So, in episode one, I talked about being a slam poet. So, for episode two, I thought the best way to kick off my channel and let you guys get to know me as a person and a YouTuber and a poet be to do the poetry challenge! I actually made this up. I posted a status on Facebook asking for random words. I ended up getting 77 comments of the weirdest, strangest, yummiest words ever. So what I did was write each word on a slip of paper and I put all those slip of paper slip oops, put all those slips of paper in this hat. And what I'm gonna do is draw five words randomly from that hat and then I have five minutes to write a completely original poem using all of five aforementioned words. Okay, so I'm gonna draw these words. The first one is Ponderosa. The second one is Verisimilitude. Ver Verisimilitude. Verisimilitude. The third one is Delicious. Fourth one is crow. And the fifth and final word is fabulous. Okay, so let's just define some stuff real quick so that we're all on the same page. See what I did there. Ponderosa is a tall, slender pine tree, the most widespread conifer of Western North America planted for timber and as an ornamental. Crow, a large perching bird with mostly glassy black plumage, a heavy bill, and a raucous voice. Raucious. Raucious. Words are hard. That's what I'm learning from this video. Verisimilitude is the appearance of being true or real. Delicious is highly pleasant to the taste. Fabulous means extraordinary, especially extraordinarily large. Okay. I don't know why I'm actually really nervous for this. <laughs> All right. So I have this five minute time already on my phone and I'm gonna start it and then and there's gonna be a, a poem that happened. You ready? Set. Go. I wrote a weird poem in five minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna read it to you. <clears throat> Cue dramatic music. They say the crow flies at midnight, which is to say if a ponderosa tree snaps in two and falls in the forest when no one is around, does it make a sound? Does the bird still cry at midnight even when no one is around to hear its ragged scream? Some might think the answer is no, that we only seem to utter our battle cry or call for help when someone else is there to witness it. So does this mean we are only trying to achieve verisimilitude rather than just be true? Must we always be fabulous for other people when we could just be fabulous for ourselves? Shouldn't we be thinking we are the most delicious thing around even when there's no one there to taste? All right, thank you guys so much for watching me do the poetry challenge. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below to tell me what you think. I read all the comments, I promise. Um, I also would like to thank Ben Sound Music for providing all the royalty-free music for this video. You guys should definitely check out his website. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All of that information is in the description box below. Thank you guys. I'll see you next week for episode 3.